Hi, this is Body Max Index Develop in C Sharp using uh, Visual Studio 2015. So, right here I have the BMI table, and this is the BMI table to do with your age and so on. Okay, the first thing you need to do is enter your weights right there in kilograms. Let's say I'm approximately 100 and my height is 1.9 click on BMI it's actually saying 27.70 BMI that's what my BMI is which actually denote me as being overweight right there okay supposing I'm about let's go for 90 right there still saying i'm um, 24.93 bmi that's what my bmi is which is around this region so in that case that means i'm sort of like normal weight okay i think i'm still here yeah i'm here I'm normal weight let's see if i can get, get it a little bit much better right there you see this actually means you are of normal weight if you are 85 kilograms and let's say your height is this 1.9 meters so that means you are within the normal weight okay so supposing this is how tall you are boy you are class as obese at level 3 you are level 3 obese let's see let's go for 6 well at 6 you are level 1 obese which means you still need to lose some weight to get yourself to this level so my friend hit the gym go to gym so what I'll do now is to show you guys how I've put together this tutorial so my reset button works and the exit works so I will now exit this system and start all over so let's come in here file new project now the new project dialog box is ready make sure c sharp is selected and you have windows forms application selected and now let's give it a name so i'm going to call that c sharp b m i now let's put an underscore here c sharp b m i calculate right so let's save that now there okay that's my form ready the next thing is let me go straight to the property here and uh, start position let's get it centered then the next thing I would do is to define the size of my form that's about 1173 by 500 and 52 enter so that's my form now let's go to tools I'm gonna to need three buttons so I can always copy hold down your control and just drag so I have my three buttons in place okay the next thing is let's get two or let's get five labels yeah, I think the label is here one right there Put my heading one here one here another one here and one right here those are my labels that I need text box I need two of those one two and let's change this to multi-line change this to multi-line as well then the next one we need is we need as follows let's come in here let's get the data grid view I'm gonna need maybe two of those okay let's get this started now you click if you notice that you click on this rectangle there and right in there in this dialog select add project data source okay 
then you get to this dialog of data source configuration wizard select database click on next click on next again okay I'm waiting for my system to respond okay now that the system is ready connect a new one and here I want it to be accessed that's it right there so and I have Microsoft access database file okay, now let's browse straight to where my database is it's right there on my desktop that's it BMI click on open that's right there I'm gonna delete this admin I don't need it let's give it a try and see if it will work I'm right there okay text connection succeed click on OK and now click on OK all right now I have my database there so click on next yeah this dialogue is asking me to if I want to save the database into my project file so I'm gonna click on yes and click on next so this dialogue actually shows me my tables I have two tables in there BMI table and BMI table NCR so click on finish now I'm back into the development area let's position it properly so what I will do next is click on this again and select this order data source click on that drop it down the project data source drop, drop it down as well BMI data set drop it down and then select the table required that's the table I wanted right there okay instead of copying another table I can just make a duplicate of this hold down my control drag and drop okay so now I'm gonna change the table okay let's drop this down okay drop this down as well and that's the table I want in there you see see the difference this one is the meaning of the BMI and this one is the age all right so that is that ready so if I run it let's just run it so that you guys see what I'm talking about right dear fellows so the upper one shows us the BMI okay the range okay and this the one below tells you the age and um, what your BMI should be or approximately BMI figures for whatever age range you are okay so let's finish up with the design of the interface and then we can add one or two lines of code to get it over with so in here I'm going to change that to let's come in there and just change that to body mass index and one other thing I need to do is let me increase the font size of that to maybe about 60 right there okay so let's change that to 60 there let's move it here so let me just speed that up anyway you guys know how to customize component interface let me just speed it up okay guys that's how my interface looks right now so if I run it let me just run it so that you see what I'm talking about right there but the whole system do nothing here that's a label text box text box so let's close that and start with the coding so I'll start with the easy ones double click on exit and right there just enter application dot exit make sure you enter parentheses and a semicolon now that's the exit taken care of let's take care of the reset button with the reset button I'm just gonna call it txt height dot clear so parentheses there and txt width dot clear parentheses there and lbl bmi dot 
text equals play and then also lbl i like to change the background color of that because the background color will be changed at certain point let's change that to back color equals color okay press enter dot make it white there done now that that those two components have been taken care of let's take care of this that we have to check the dbmi so before i can do anything let's come up here right underneath here i'm going to declare the following double h we'll go for another double that will be w that stands for weight then double let's make that t for total there so all of my variables are taken care of now come right down here that's this very component right there so I'm, i will now assign those for as follows so let's say bmi dot back color just to make sure that it's white anyway okay let's just type it out dot oops dot white right there okay now i will now assign as follows h equals double dot first then txt dot text so whatever is in there is assigned to h and w let's copy that paste it right there changes to w and this will become okay now let's come here and just say t equals w divided by height multiplied by height and that should give us the b m i so now we need to assign that very t to lbl dot text equals let's convert it to string dot format yeah so, and so that that can give us two decimal place really i need an f there all right that should give me two decimal place hopefully let's say t and just close that and enter that in there all right that is the conversion taking place okay if I run the system now let's see what will happen enter whatever BMI weight in there and enter maybe your height in there and just click on that that give us a BMI which means you are obese level or you are at obese level of one or one obese level whatever okay so let's change that to let's see whoa you are at 20 that's 38 which means you are at uh, your obese level is level 2 so let's see if we can get it something low and make this maybe 9 yeah that's good that means you are at normal weight but based on your age okay so now let's see if the clip works and let's check out the exit button all right let's add some color effect into it so if t less than and equals to 24.9 okay then we want back color the back color i want that to be color let's look for color here just type it out makes life easy color dot let's go for powdered blue yeah that's fine so supposing let's go for else if else if if you are 29.9 29.9 your color let's change the color to maybe blue and 
else if let's go for 30 34 34.9 the color maybe dot yellow now one more let's check out this maybe 39 39 let's go for dot dark red there anything like that right there yeah you should think so maybe that's uppercase D okay I think this might be uppercase red as well okay that's fine now supposing you are above 40 okay above 40 Let's put 40 in there and that will be red dot red there hey what's that Indian red let's check out Indian red dot Indian red never seen that before okay let's leave that in there all right so that is the BMI taken care of so let's run it now or oh, before that let me show you guys the codes come up here declare your variables right underneath this public class here those are my variable and here that's to do with the database that was embedded that is the line of code for exit and here are the four lines of code for the reset button and right here from here that's just to change the background to white from here down here that is the BMI calculation itself and from here down that's just to denote the color of your BMI and that's all there is to it okay so have another look at it before we run the program and there guys so let's run it now okay let's enter your weight in this supposing you are 90 and you happen to be 1.9 meters tall there and supposing you are about 88 1.9 meters tall right there you can see that okay normal weight which is brilliant okay, let's check this out Let's take care of the different colors. Let's come in here and go for 1.2. Boy, that means you are your BMI is at a base level three. Okay, let's increase it to four and see. Still a base level three. Let's go to six. Yeah, that's Indian color. That's how the Indian color looks. That means you are at a base level two let's increase it and see what will happen with this okay the BMI is at base level 1 which is still very dangerous let's go for 8 BMI at overweight okay and that's how the system works so if we go for 9 still the same thing let's say you have two that's a 6 footer with 90 pounds weight you are at normal weight so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you all enjoy it subscribe and please do thumbs up bye for now